Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer, my name is George and I hope you had a good start of the week, but it's nearly midweek, okay, it's gonna be tomorrow, however, I'm gonna help you with something uh, refreshing, just a midweek cocktail to give you a little bit more confidence and get you through the week, so today we're doing Caprice, a lovely cocktail based on gin, with Campari, a little bit touch of bitter and a sweet vermouth. So all you need for this cocktail is pretty simple. You need a martini glass or any coupe glass, but it needs to be chilled. So we're gonna put some ice. When I make the cocktail, I wanna leave this on the side and get chilled. And then, simple as that, three ingredients cocktail, very nice and very refreshing. So we have dry London gin, you can use any gin, I'm using Bulldog London Dry Gin, a fantastic one, but of course you can use any you want, okay? So the gin is 30 ml, not much, but just enough. Put in your shaker, so when you're putting in your shaker, remember, don't put the ice yet. You wanna put the ice in the end because you don't want to dilute your cocktail giving me like a extra water to introduce to the mix. You wanna keep it as crisp as possible. Next ingredients is the sweet vermouth. We had a 30 ml of the London dry gin. So with the sweet vermouth, we're gonna go only 15 ml. And the same, it will be with the Campari. So as you can see, it's a very simple cocktail. It's basically two to one to one. So if you decide to have it more boozy and you want a little bit stronger you can go with like a 40 ml then you put 20 ml of Campari 20 ml of the sweet vermouth so it's pretty simple like that both of them it's the half of the amount of the gin you're using in your cocktail so don't you worry if you have two big glass and the cocktail it's not uh, up to the top uh, it's a kind of a very misconception that uh, the cocktails must be always full to the top that's not the that's not the case, always, okay? The case is to have a proper balanced cocktail which you can enjoy. And if the glass is a little bit bigger, this doesn't matter absolutely. Obviously, you can put a small cocktail in a pint glass. This is gonna look horrendous, but you get the idea what I mean, yeah? So ice, I'm gonna put ice in my other part of the shaker. So I don't know, I've never talked about shakers, but you probably seen I'm using very often if not i think all the time i'm using my boston shaker now uh, boston shaker is more professional because more of us bartenders prefer the boston shaker because it's only two parts and it's very easy to work out and open and pour obviously we need to use strainer with it when the you know the french shaker like they call it the three parts shaker it's more kind of a uh, home edition let's put it this way it's not a problem, there's a small shakers which it's very nice for a certain cocktails but the Boston shaker because it's big it's introducing more air to the cocktail so when you're shaking it you're making it more lighter and introducing more air so and it's fast to work that's why I'm kind of always use it let's shake again I'm always gonna mentioned this uh, I've mentioned a few times already but when you shake when you stir usually when you shake you have uh, hard to mix ingredients such as like uh, juices syrups etc etc uh, when you stir you just stir when it's a clear drinks but sometimes as you can see in this case we have clear drinks we don't have any juices but we shake the reason why we shake it's like I mentioned earlier is to introduce a little bit more air to the cocktail, to dilute fast the cocktail, so we don't have more dilution. When you're stirring, you're gonna introduce more water. With the shaking, it's a very quick, make it a cold straight away, introduce more air, make it a lighter. It's gonna lower the bitter sound, the bitter test of the Campari, which, uh, you know, for some people, like I love a lot of bitter cocktails, but some people just like a touch of bitter and this is when you shake, it's gonna help to break that bitterness and make it a little bit lighter. But just a quick tip. So we have our glass chilled, let's throw the ice away and let's serve. So 
So here we go. I mentioned earlier the cocktail it doesn't have to be full to the top. Very misconception. You want to enjoy a lovely balanced cocktail so you can have a slow sip. In this case, the Caprice, it's a more kind of a aperitif cocktail. Okay, you have the gin, you have the bitter, you have the sweet vermouth. All these ingredients, it's a very good for the palate to introduce this kind of appetite before meal and kind of boost your senses to other flavors because the bitter and everything it's open all the palate fantastically for you to enjoy anything you have a, as a meal after that so let's just try it before i garnish i just want to try it mm. beautiful beautiful you can feel the gin and you have this you can actually feel the sweetness of the vermouth before actually the bitter of the Campari kick off. So that's why we're shaking it. With Tire, the Campari is gonna be more dominant, so you're gonna have more bitterness in the beginning. Now, it doesn't require any garnish, but since we have Campari and we have the gin, they go very nice with the citrus, the sweet vermouth as well. So instead of uh, going with a lemon, which is basically going better with the gin. I'll go with the orange because it's pairing really nice with the Campari. So all you need to do is get your peeler, just a peel, a, a nice zest. There you go. Just a peel like that. Express some on the top. You can rub your rim of the glass. This is going to introduce uh, this orange smell and also you can rub the steam of the glass because that's nice because when you serve the cocktail and when you're drinking it it's gonna introduce this orange zesty citrus flavor to your fingers so it's it's kind of a nice it's a nice touch and then to make it a little bit more pretty not just to dump inside in the cocktail i'm gonna straighten the lines i'm gonna make on the side like a little bit let me i'll show you now so basically what I did is just curve on this side, curve on this side, then a big cut in the middle, just squeeze it like that to be pretty much like a funnel, I squeeze a little bit more on the top and put on the side. And there you go ladies and gentlemen, you have the caprice. Now. Imagine you're on the beach somewhere or a nice uh, summer terrace in your holiday and you're enjoying this before your meal. Fantastic. Not my case because it's pouring out, it's raining here in UK, it's 15 degree. I think winter is coming during the summer. However, that's one. However, this is not gonna stop me to go and enjoy this lovely cocktail. So. Once again, don't forget, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe because cocktails coming all the time. And from this Sunday, it's supposed to start from previous Sunday, but I had a little delay with deliveries. But from this Sunday, we're starting every Sunday with homemade ingredients. So we're gonna make tinctures, we're gonna make syrups, we're gonna make infusions, we're gonna make so many different things every Sunday. Something for you to try to make at home. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on Friday. Until then, I'll go and enjoy this. Bye-bye.